Hello, and welcome to another video from Alberta Bushcrafter. My name is Dean, and this is a new one for me. I have been tagged by Bruce from Nature Calls. So this is going to be a video, just a quick, well maybe not so quick, dump of my everyday carry. So we'll have a look and see what I've got here. Actually, uh, I do tend to pack a fair bit of gear. I I live way out of town. I live in northern Alberta and I work in the city and I've got a pretty long commute every day so that means uh, a lot of it's down country roads. You never know what's going to happen so I pack a fair bit but also you know it's something to do with my job so let's take a quick look at all that. Okay so you're looking at what I carry every day. This is actually a field line pack from Canadian Tire. It's what they call a two-day pack. Um, this was actually bought before I discovered companies like Condor and so on. But let's have a look. First things first, I'll show them and then get them out of the way, is my <laughs> lunch box. Because like I said, I have a day job in the city. So lunchbox, it's usually breakfast and lunch in there. And you may have seen this from one of my videos. That's a nice big fat original Stanley thermos. Now on the outside I've also got um, this is an outdoor research water bottle carrier. It is not the greatest, but um, you can see there's some pseudo molly webbing on the outside. I've tried this. I've actually tried hooking stuff up to this. It's the right size, but things stick off it like a huge zit or boil. It looks really goofy if you put anything. It's a silly place to put it is right there on a small pocket and on a bottom pocket. I have managed to get away with a tool kit on the bottom here, but it gets very large. So, there's that. Now, Let's start dumping. Um, the other thing that goes in here daily is my iPad as it's part of my work. But there's actually a fair bit in here. So we're going to make room. First, um, I've also got to say this pack is not the best. It's, it took me two of them. Had to take the first one back because all the seams ripped. There's a neck warmer or gator. This is in the outside pocket. There's a small set of gloves. A couple of cliff bars for emergency energy. A uh, couple of stuff sacks. This is actually an essential piece of gear for me. It's a shoehorn. Because I'm always having to do something with my shoes. And because I often in summer carry a ball cap. Here's a bag of morale patches. Really good for showing your mood. Oh! Way deep down, another set of gloves. And a pretty mangled up cliff bar. That's getting eaten first. So there's one. Just one pocket. What else? Oh, nothing else there. Really worth mentioning. So, on the outer pockets, there are four. One of them, because tunes are essential, got my MP3 player and headsets. Another pocket. This is for watching. I live in the city. I work in the city in a sky rise, big high rise building. So, binoculars are handy to see. Oh, I don't know. In, these, in this day and age, who's jumping out the window of the building next to you? I'm only half joking about that, by the way. Let's see. Bit of digging here. This one's handy. You've, you'll see a video on these very soon. These are a couple of large toasters. Instant heat packets. Because where I live, it actually does hit minus 40. And last outside pocket, 
couple of folding grocery bags because I do vi visit Mountain Equipment Co-op a lot. And you have to bring your own bags there. So, that's some of the gear. And remember, this is my rid I carry. This is what's in the pack every day. Another inside pocket. And these will often go on my belt. Get to that in a minute. Couple of heat packs again. This is a the only con non condor piece of gear I've got. This is a Voodoo Tactical. Um, I don't know wallet slash pouch. And there's a few pens and sharpies. Nothing serious. And a uh, right in the rain waterproof notebook. Very handy. Anything else? Because I actually am a first responder, CPR mask. And spare pair of glasses. You'd be amazed how all this junk fits into a pack. So that is most of the pack. The only other thing you'll find in here is no, not that. Ugh. It's not supposed to be in there. Often if I'm packing heavy, I have my oops. This is a great first aid kit. This is the this is big. Yes, I know. This is a very comprehensive first aid kit. The only thing it does not have is sutures and splints and a snake bite kit. But this is the Condor Rip Away EMT pouch. See, it's actually got a panel on the back there. I will devote an entire video to this thing. There it is. You can't see it over here. And, last but not least, sunglasses. Once again, because there's a wonderful Edmonton company called Capital Airsoft. This is a sunglass pouch and there's my shades. Funny thing is, this is a very rigid, wonderful pouch for not very expensive. I think it's only eight bucks. But it does stick off your backpack like a sore thumb. And it's only got one set of Moly attachments. But there's that. And finally, well let's go into these two for a minute. This is a pistol mag pouch from Condor, perfect size for a Leatherman 300. That comes with me everywhere. It's 25th anniversary edition Leatherman. And I've shown this in videos before. The other thing I carry is just my Swiss Army one-handed trekker. So what the Leatherman does not have for tools, or doesn't have great tools on, this does. Now let's see. I notice there's one pocket missing. Not a lot of stuff in it though. Basically, no oh, more than you'd think. There's a Bear Grylls survival kit. That was a gift. I'm not going to open this up, but there's Emergency blanket, matches, fire starter. There's almost your 10 essentials in there, but not quite. You got spare keys hanging on the lanyard. Um, one flashlight, not a great one. And then just because they didn't take up much space, a couple more multi tools, very small ones. I have seen people talking about the Gerber Dime. This is not a Gerber Dime. This is an older, well actually that's a Ruko multi-tool. I just carry it for sentimental reasons. It's nice. The other one, which is not a Gerber Dime, is Gerber Clutch. This is the predecessor to the Gerber Dime. And uh, where, like one guy in another video said, you get actually a small set of scissors for cutting his um, toenails and fingernails. 
No, but I will mention that these things, very small needle nose pliers like this, they're wonderful and they're great for pulling nose hairs. You take that how you will. I'm not going to elaborate on that one. Because it's 11 o'clock and I'm tired. In some cases, I will carry this. This is a Condor Sidekick, which I've modified. It used to be just my tool kit, but it's now actually a tool and repair kit. It's got everything in it. Got some bits, got a bit driver, got a lot of paracord. Um, yeesh. This would be 10 minutes to talk about this, but there's zipper kits, forceps, scissors. Uh, you can see some seam grip, a bunch of McNett products here, one small lighter. But we will not go into that because, again, I made a promise to the guys at Capital Airsoft that that would be a separate video. And it will because there's way too much to go into. But this was one small tool kit and one pretty bulky repair kit that I managed to pare down into this. And it weighs just over a pound, but comprehensive. I will sometimes add this. Ah, let's see what else. Oh, interesting thing about the pack. Be another video on this. This is just a nylon handle. And I have done a double Cobra weave of Desert Tan and Multicam paracord. And there's actually an inner tube in there with a bit more paracord. There's about 12 feet of paracord in here underneath and another 12 in the wrap. Which I thought was pretty fun when I did. It needs to be tugged up a bit because these loose ends. But this is actually a small uh, cord kit. And the nice thing is the paracord makes this a lot easier to grab than just a gorpy little nylon strap. The other things, let's go on my coat or otherwise, for cold weather, a fur aviator's hat, because we do hit well below zero up here in Alberta. Scarf, goes with the neck muff, I got some rocky heavyweight glove mitts which will take the heaters inside uh, another small El Cheapo LED flashlight and that has got that's actually the Condor flashlight case you will find I'm a huge fan I probably said that a dozen times now the only other things are this is a waterproofed Zippo lighter and regular Bic lighter. That stays in my pocket. Alright. Well, there's a lot more stuff than I thought was in there, but I'm pretty well prepared for a lot of eventualities. I also do carry a full um, emergency kit in my vehicle as well, which includes stove, tarps, and you name it. So, that is about it. Now, before I sign off, I wanted to show you a little thing I've done, just a little tip. Uh, this backpack does not have a great padding system. It's okay. Uh, I do like the sternum strap, although some of these are not sewed too well. You can see it's actually coming apart there. Maybe, maybe not. But, I also don't like the fact that this thing wasn't like green or coyote brown or something. One of the things is these two loops at the bottom for adjusting the straps. I found with mitts and so on, it was a big pain in the butt to grab onto those. So what I've actually done is taken a couple of uh, kind of cheaper locking carabiners. These certainly aren't even, these are more of the three or four dollar ones and not the eight or ten or more. They aren't real mountaineering carabiners. But yeah, these actually allow you to grab onto um, the loops a lot better when you're adjusting the strap. This is actually a good idea for any pack. Okay, so looking back on one of the pieces of gear, my turn to tag somebody else. So, oops. There we go. I am going to tag 
multi-tool school. Hello D. I'm going to tag Chad Collins, another one of my subscribers, and I'm going to tag my first subscriber, and that's Jeep over at Econo Challenge. Let's see what's in your everyday carry rather than your winter pack, which you just posted a video on, I know. Anyways, thanks for watching another Alberta Bushcrafter video. This is Dean. Take care, and good day.